Having a regular bank account is a daily necessity not just to pay for groceries and bills but also to establish some financial history and a credit score for any newcomers to Canada. Therefore, it's uh, important to have a Canadian bank account and also to make the right choice when choosing which bank to go with and that's exactly what we will be exploring in this video. Hey guys, uh, Norbert here and uh, welcome back to the channel. There are almost no financial decisions in Canada you can make as a newcomer without established credit. Now, this means if you want to purchase a car, the company uh, providing your financing or leasing will pull your credit report. If you want to purchase a mobile phone on financing, they will also do a soft credit check and I can go on and on and on. So therefore, as a newcomer to Canada, one of the most important steps you need to take is to open up a Canadian bank account get a basic credit card and start establishing your credit score. Now, obviously, the sooner you start, the better. It will make your life so much easier whenever you need to use any financial product down the road. I would say there are two main types of bank accounts in Canada, so-called regular checking accounts and regular savings accounts. Checking accounts are used for practically any daily banking needs and payment for utility bills, uh, car payments, uh, mortgage payments, and so on. Now, most people consider savings accounts as a tool to save up a certain amount of money as an emergency fund or just parking some extra cash and keeping it there. These accounts usually don't come with a debit card or even though they are called savings accounts, they either generate zero dollars in interest or almost zero dollars. If you really want to start saving safely and generating some decent returns, there is a product called high yield savings account, which uh, would definitely be the correct way or the right way to go. I just recently made a video about five best high yield savings account in Canada. I will leave a link uh, in the video so you can check it out. Canada is on track to welcome over 470,000 new permanent residents in 2022 and very well on track to continue with its immigration plan to welcome far 448,000 next year and 451,000 in 2024. Now, besides obviously all the great economical impact these immigration numbers are having for Canada, I am quite confident that they will also contribute in more competitive environment between major Canadian banks. Many years ago when I immigrated to Canada there were no account programs or uh, packages designed especially for newcomers. But the competitive environment, which in my view will be getting stronger and stronger in the coming years, has basically introduced these banking products to basically meet the demands of uh, these high immigration numbers and obviously to try to gain as many new customers as possible. At the end, this provides a lot of attractive options for all newcomers to Canada. I'd like to explore two main groups of banks. First one is the group of five major uh, Canadian banks, which is RBC, TD, CIBC, Scotiabank and uh, BMO. And the second group is a group of major either internet or so-called online banks, which are gaining a lot of momentum in Canada. So, all right, let's uh, dive into it. Now, in order to open up a checking account in Canada as a newcomer, you will basically need your PR card or your work permit. If you're a student, your student permit for international students, your uh, SIN number, one or two pieces of ID like passport, driver's license or photo ID card. Here are best checking account packages from the main Canadian banks to go uh, for as a newcomer. I'll start with uh, Bank of Montreal New Start program. This checking account comes with one year no fee banking, unlimited debit and e-transfers, no fees for global money transfers for a year, one free ATM withdrawal per month at a Bank of Montreal ATM. And there is also an interesting $400 cash bonus when opening up this bank account. Second option is the Start Right program from Scotiabank, which is Canada's third largest bank. This one also comes with a no fee checking account for 12 months. Once promotional period is over, monthly account fee is $60.95. However, if you maintain a minimum balance of $4,000, monthly fee will be waived. There are also unlimited debit and e-transfer uh, transactions, one free withdrawal at an ATM which doesn't belong to Scotiabank. All these perks are included in the package. This basic checking account can be connected with a high interest savings account where you can access promotional rate in terms of interest rate. You will also get a credit card as a newcomer. Fees up to $150 will be waived in the first year. 
Third option comes from Newcomer Advantage account from RBC, which is uh, Canada's largest bank. This account one comes like the other first two options with no fees for first 12 months and includes free small safe deposit box for two years, two free international money transfers per month for the first 12 months, free personalized checks and with practically no credit history as a newcomer, you can also apply for example for the RBC Cashback Mastercard with no annual fees. I will leave a link uh, for a video I made about five best no fee credit cards for newcomers to Canada and you can check it out. Next option is the Welcome to Canada banking package from CIBC. This one is quite a deal because you are getting an account with no fees for two years without any limitations on account balances which basically saves you around $200 in fees alone for the second year. It also comes with unlimited debit and e-transfers. One free non-CIBC ATM withdrawal per month and there is also a path to apply for your first Canadian credit card without established credit history in Canada. Now to round it up, my last tip is the new to Canada banking package from a uh, TD. With this unlimited checking account you are ultimately getting no monthly fees for six months. After that it's uh, $60.95 a month in fees unless you keep at least $4,000 in your checking account to have the fees waived in full. You're also getting unlimited transactions, no fees on any ATMs in Canada and unlimited international transfers for up to 12 months. Now, before I get to the second major group of banks, so-called online banks, I'd like to point out that it's uh, always smart to keep track of your uh, account fees once the promotional period is over, either by following my channel to get an updated information or by exploring possibilities on the market, because the market is changing rapidly and practically every day. As I have mentioned at the beginning, the whole environment is changing rapidly and Canada will be getting around 500,000 newcomers in the coming years every year, which means the banks will have to adapt to this new trend and uh, keep introducing promotional packages and rates and fees in order to attract uh, new customers. So the second group to consider represents so-called online banks, which in many cases offer equally attractive products as the major banks I have mentioned before, but are also able to provide no fee packages for unlimited period of time. The first option I'd like to mention is Simply Financial, which is the online banking arm of of CIBC Bank and has more than 2 million clients right now. The newcomer's uh, checking account at uh, Simply Financial, the so-called no-fee checking account, comes with $350 cash bonus when you meet the eligible requirements, unlimited no-monthly fees, unlimited debit and e-transfer transactions, and access to high interest savings account with promotional interest rates as well. Also, you are getting free checks and mobile check deposits, and you can also apply for a no-fee cashback credit card as a newcomer. The second option uh, in this group is the EQ Bank with its savings plus account for newcomers. This one comes with unlimited zero monthly fees as well. High interest rate is paid on any account balance. It can be also used as a checking and savings account combined. Furthermore, it comes with cheap international money transfers and free mobile check deposits. Third option in this group is the no fee daily checking account from Tangerine Bank, which is one of the most popular online banks in Canada and is direct online banking arm of the Scotia Bank. This account also comes with unlimited no monthly account fees, unlimited debit and e-transfer transactions, interest on any account balances, first 50 checks are for free, and free mobile check deposits and access to the whole chain of Scotia Bank ATMs. And you can also easily apply for the money back MasterCard with no annual fee. So in general, I would say there is not really an exact answer which account package is the best for newcomers to Canada. As I have mentioned before, most traditional banks offer up to 12 month no fee packages. Online banks have no fee accounts unlimited. I would also say that uh, it also comes down to uh, the fact if you prefer to conduct uh, your uh, banking needs in person, since the online banks don't have actual branches you can go to, but have thousands of ATMs across Canada. And it's also important to go with a checking account, which can be basically combined with a new credit card, you as a newcomer to Canada, without a credit history, because using a credit card is basically the fastest way to build a credit history in Canada. 
let me know in the comments below if you have any questions thank you again guys for watching and supporting this video by hitting the like button and as always uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any future content thank you and see you in the next video